In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can add more images, more scenes when you're going to burn a DVD. This comes from a request of one of my subscribers who said, the default normally is only three or maybe four different scenes that you can add in a DVD menu. I'd like to add six, eight, 10 or more on a single screen. How can I do that in PowerDirector? We're going to show you that in this tutorial. So I have a handful of just odd clips I've put together. Let's assume we're going to burn a DVD. First thing I need to do is click on the tools menu at the very top and add a chapter marker. So I'll click on chapter markers. Easiest way to add a chapter is at the beginning of each clip. That's my first option. I'll just click on start. And it will create a chapter marker for each and every single segment. It names them chapters one through however many I have here. It looks like I've got 14. So the easiest way to change them, you can edit them later, is to edit them now. I'll right click and I'll just add rename. I can call this one Lighthouse. But if you want to do that for any of these, that's as easy as that process is. So let's assume we've got the chapter titles named the way we want for now and we want to go ahead and burn one. So let's click on export. It will save my project and give me the option of exporting. When I want to export, I want to click on the create disk option in the upper left corner of my screen. It will open my create disk menu system. It will tend to take the default template to use to create your disk. And if you look at this one, this one says buttons per page. And this is typical where you only have three. What if I want more than three? Let me show you how to get more. We will have to edit the template. So to do that, we go back to our menu preferences tab on the left side, and we're going to pick a template. I'm going to pick one called Aurora. And before I click Apply to Pages, I'm going to click on the Modify button. So I'll click on Modify. It takes me to this screen. Now, the first thing it wants to modify is the root menu. Now, remember, these are dummy values. You cannot edit them here. You edit them elsewhere. But I could take, for example, the My Videos and drag it up and move it somewhere else on the screen. I can't change the substance of that on this screen. But I don't want the root menu. I want a different menu. So I'm going to click on the down arrow, and I'm going to change the titles and chapters. That's where we have our limit. And right now, in the editing mode, I see one. I want maybe 8 or 10 on the screen. So I can click on the second button from the left and add menu button. I'm going to click on that now, and I'll keep doing that. They will lay on top of each other, but we'll spread them out in a moment. Let me do 10. And then I click on the button to the left of thumbnails, align all of the menu items. Now it's modified them. This is where I'd want to take my title and make sure it's not buried in the midst of all the images. And we can move our, our buttons as well. I'm not going to do that in this case. We can also change the button style by clicking on the rightmost tab in the left panel and clicking something like this, and it will change your buttons. Well, I'm done with what I want to do for now, so I'm going to click on Save As, and we're going to save this template. I'm going to call it Aurora My Test. So that's my modified template, and click on OK. So it will save the template, and then I'll have the opportunity to load it in my system if I want. Uh, to apply the current menu design, I click on OK. And make sure I click on Aurora My Test. And click on Apply to All Pages. Now, it doesn't have Include Root Menu selected, or it would go there first. I, I do have the others selected. If I click on this button here, I'm at the root. 
I turn it off, I get to see the other ones. And notice my buttons per page is now up to 10. I'm going to turn the root menu back on. If you want to change the menu structure, let's click on that on the left panel at the top. You see it has 10 and it's divided it into two sections because 10 is my max. I don't have to go 10. Let me go on the My Videos, the first submenu, and let me change that page to 8. And now in a moment it will change the number to 8 and then it added the leftovers here. I could actually change this to 2 and then it, I can change this one. This one right now has 6. I can click on this one and I can change that. It starts out with 10. Let me say I only want 4 on that page. It will automatically figure out what to do that and it will put 4 in and add it. So the leftovers go to the page. It goes down. And you can take any of these and you can change the, the title to them so they don't all have to say the same My Videos. We could call this Section 2. And it will rename that. And we can take this, call this Section 3, Section 1. So you can adjust the, the number of pages and the number of images per page. So let's preview this and see what it looks like. We'll go to our scenes. And here we are. The first one, we have eight. We'll click the forward button. The next one, I believe we set to four. And the last one we'll set to two. And I can go home. I'll press escape to get out of it. But now we've successfully added the number of thumbnails that will appear in the video when we're building our menu structure in order to burn the DVD. That's a simple way to do that part of the process in CyberLink PowerDirector.